Set Time status allows you to set Unbuild Whip back to time so that you can make changes to it or delete it. If I were to click on these right now, I can't make any changes to them because they're in Whip status. If I needed to make any changes to them or delete them, let's just say that I needed to make some changes on this one. Maybe the work code is wrong. To make any of those changes, I actually need to set these back to time status. So I'm going to set both of these back to time just so I can show you the two ways that we do this. One of these is super quick, so I'll show you that way first. So we already said we want to set this first one back to time so we can change the work code. So the easiest way is if we hover right here over the W for WIP, you can see that it pops up with that message convert to time. So just by left clicking right there on that W, it converts it back to time, changes it to green, and puts that T in the journal column. So this first line right there has been converted back to time. And that would allow me to go ahead and change the work code or do whatever other changes I needed to it. The other way of changing back to time status is by clicking on the checkbox, coming up to the actions, and choosing set to time status. When I do that, the same thing happens. That W was changed to a T, and it's been converted back to time status. So from here, I'd be able to make those changes. And then I'd probably want to change them back to WIP status so that we could eventually bill it. Now from the time entry calendar, it's a little bit different because again, you don't have that actions button up here. But let's just choose this one here and say that I want to set it back to time status. You can see that that option is right here, set time status. So all I would have to do is click the button and you can see it went back to green time status. To make my actual changes to it, I would have to go back to the grid though and go to the 17th, make my changes, and then set it back to whip.